Hey guys, this is Kevin Estella with Fieldcraft Survival. Just want to go over the importance of carrying tinder. Tinder is an important material that we use when we're building a fire. We can either use tinder with a spark-based ignition system, something like a ferro rod, or with a flame like a Bic lighter. Tinder is something that's going to help extend your flame. It's something that's going to prevent you from having to hold your lighter underneath your small kindling as your kindling is burning. And it's something that we can either find out here in the great outdoors or we can acquire uh, that's already been man-made and something that we can either get at a store or make at home. There are a lot of really good choices for tinder in the great outdoors, but this first part of this video, I wanna go over some of the tinders that are easy to acquire and easy to carry. Since many times those man-made or man-processed tinders are the ones that are gonna work the best. Here are a few different options. This little tab right here is called Tinder Quick. Tinder Quick, originally carried in Air Force survival kits, is nothing more than a, cotton, a piece of cotton with a little bit of petroleum in it. And it's held together with some thread. This will take a spark or a flame pretty easily and burn for three to five minutes. Another option are these little plugs. They look like Cheetos and they're called fire plugs from Pro Camp Tech. Instead of using petroleum, it's cotton and wax. They don't compress as easily as say Vaseline and cotton balls, but they do burn for a very long time. And you can either stand them up like this, like a candle, or lay them flat for a much larger flame. The same way that you would hold a match up to get a longer burn or hold it sideways to get a larger flame. Another option, which is something I carry around my lighter every single day, is nothing more than bicycle inner tube bands that I've cut with a pair of scissors. Now people don't realize this, but if you take your lighter to a bike inner tube, this will burn for a significant amount of time and it saves the fuel of your lighter. So you're looking at 1,001 second fires. Well, you can carry bike inner tube and let that burn for a few minutes, saving your lighter. Guys, there are a lot of different options out there for man-made tinder. Uh, I mean, there's even this stuff, which recently came out that I'm still experimenting with, but it's so far it's been working great, which is this Pro Camp Tech uh, Ultimate, Ultimate Fire Tinder. And this stuff takes a spark pretty easily. Whatever you decide to carry, um, make sure you test it, make sure it works well for your fire starting system. And you'll find that it'll be easier to start fires in the great outdoors if you already have the stuff on you instead of having to run around. But in this next part of this video, we're gonna show you the different ways that you can procure tinder off the land in case you run out or in case you lose the tinder that you originally carried. If you're in the great outdoors and you don't have man-made tinder, but you still have your knife and a ferro rod, it's possible to get fires going with what you can find off the land. Right here in this general area, I'm gonna point out a few things that you might wanna look for. Number one, these leaves that have died on the tree but they haven't fallen to the ground during autumn, these are referred to as mercescent leaves. You can hear the, the crunch that they have, which makes them fantastic, fantastic for catching sparks. On this tree that has fallen, many times you can find the bark on the inside, peel it apart and make a good bird's nest that will catch a spark as well. So we have mercescent leaves and we have this bark right here. Now, another thing that you can do is you can always break off a branch and create fuzz sticks or feather sticks. It's a great option if you're in wet weather where these leaves will be damp, the bark will be damp, but if you can utilize a strong knife, preferably a fixed blade, you can always access the wood on the inside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna collect some of this material here, take it back to our little fire circle and show you how to ignite them with nothing more than your ferro rod, your knife, or maybe a Bic lighter if they happen to be a little temperamental on me. Okay, so we're back here at this little cleared out area for our fire circle and I'm just gonna show you a couple tricks for igniting some 
tinder that you find off the land. Now guys, this is no Hollywood magic or anything like this. This is just using tools and there may be success, there may be failure and we'll kind of work through it. So I've got those mercescent leaves and one of the things that I'm gonna do, number one, I'm gonna put my knife down. So remember, if your knife's not in your hand, it should always be in your sheath. I've got those mercescent leaves. So I'm gonna kind of bunch them up, scrunch them. I wanna get an area where when the spark hits, it's going to ignite them. And now I'm gonna take my ferro rod and I'm gonna pin that material down. Okay, so I get all my leaves here, I pin it down, and I'm gonna push hard and slow. And I wanna create big sparks that will burn a little bit longer than just like your little sparks that come off from a quick flick of the wrist. So pushing hard and slow. And with the second strike, you can see I've already got a flame here that I can easily coax and continue to get to burn, okay? So that's no preparation other than taking it off the land. Ideally, with these leaves, I wanna find the lightest possible leaves. So this is from the ground. You can see it's almost white. This will burn better than the leaves that still have their color in them. So guys, let me snuff this one out. And let's try the next thing here. This is the bark that we collected. This bark has a lot of good fiber in it. Okay, good fiber, places for it to catch a spark. So I'm gonna use the same principle and I'm gonna pin down that, that fiber. And guys, remember, when you're using a ferro rod, you're either moving the knife and holding the rod still or holding the knife still and moving the rod back. So same concept. Create a nice little bundle, find a spot that has some good fibers exposed, push down hard, look at that, boom, first shot. No problems whatsoever using the ferro rod with the inner bark of the tree that we found broken in that campsite over there. So same deal, gonna snuff that one out, move it aside. The last one, these are feather sticks, okay? And the feather sticks, um, I took the liberty of doing this one with just some camp wood that we had kicking around, but the principle is very simple. Pin the, rod, or pin the wood down so it doesn't move, and you're just gonna move your knife along the high point, creating these feathers, okay? So every so often, you find the high point, and you just slowly, slowly push your knife, creating these feathers. Now, you can create big feathers if you want, but they won't take a good spark. Ideally, what you want are these nice, light feathers that will, that will catch. So I'm gonna put this down here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step on it so the wood doesn't move. Same deal as before, big sparks, right? So I'm gonna push down nice and hard. I'm having a damn good day. Two strikes on the leaves, one strike on the bark, one strike on my feather stick. Guys, even if you don't have tinder with you, but you have these two tools, you can survive. Go out into the backcountry, learn to find tinder off the land, and improve your survivability. I'm Kevin Estella with Fieldcraft Survival. Thanks for watching.